the Apple Watch Ultra is probably the weirdest Apple product since that iPhone battery case with that huge bulge. So here are a couple of interesting facts you probably didn't know and that you need to know about the Apple Watch Ultra. Number one, this is mostly an Apple Watch Series 8 on the inside. So it's got the exact same S8 chip, the same health sensors with a heart rate monitor, ECG, oxygen, and temperature. So the major differences are actually on the outside. With the biggest external difference in my opinion being the customizable button. So this is a third button, essentially, an action button, uh, which is bright orange, and you can configure this uh, to pretty much anything. You can configure it to start a workout or place a waypoint on the map, a bunch of stuff to make your workout or exploration much easier. We also have a brand new speaker system with two speakers instead of one, which are also 40% louder than on the Series 8. So everything you do, call Siri and uh, speaking to the emergency services uh, is going to be much louder now. Speaking of emergency services, we have something called emergency emergency siren. So if you press and hold that action button, you can activate the siren, which is a very loud noise, 86 decibels, um, and uh, this can be heard according to Apple up to 180 meters away which could actually save your life if you're hiking in a group and, I don't know, you fall in a crevice, for example. And we also have triple mics instead of the single mic on the Series 8. And these mics also have beamforming technology, meaning that they can focus on your voice and cancel out the wind noise uh, so that you're still audible in calls and emergency situations. We also have an improved GPS with a dual antenna. So we have the L1 antenna from the Series 8, but also a brand new L5 antenna which is far more accurate. So if you're running through a city with tall buildings that can block the GPS signal uh, or through a forest, then having these two GPS antennas would actually help pinpoint your exact location and path on the map. And the Apple Watch Ultra has not one, but two diving sensors. So there's one to measure the water depth down to 40 meters and then another to measure the water temperature. So these work in combination with a subscription-based diving app. Apple hasn't actually mentioned this at the event, but the Oceanic Plus app on the Apple Watch is subscription-based. However, it looks awesome. This is essentially a full diving computer that automatically activates when you submerge, it gives you safety warnings and so much more. It basically works like a diving computer. It's amazing. And the water resistance has also been improved to 100 meters compared to 50 on the Series 8. However, Apple does warn us not to use it to dive below 40 meters, which is interesting. The Series 8 is not listed at all for diving, even though it has that 50 meter depth certification. The battery life has also been improved up to 36 hours, which is actually double of what the Series 8 has. But strangely enough, there are a couple of coming soon features. Uh, so there is also a low power mode that improves the battery even more to 60 hours. Uh, the diving computer is also coming soon, so it won't be available at launch. And then there's also a track detection that's also coming later. Speaking of track detection, this is only listed on the US website. And essentially, it automatically detects when you've arrived at a running track. It provides accurate pace, distance, and roadmap, and you can even choose the lane. The Apple Watch Ultra also has an exclusive watch face. It's called the Wayfinder, and the unique thing about it is that the time dial can be switched to a live compass. It also has eight complications, so four on the outside and four on the inside. And it also has a low light mode, which you activate by turning the crown and you'll get this vivid red interface. Now, the display is larger, but interesting enough, you don't actually get to see anything extra. The view looks almost identical to the Series 8. You do, however, get double the brightness up to 2000 nits outdoors compared to 1000. So this actually matches the brightness of the new iPhone 14 Pro outdoors, which means that it should be perfectly visible even in direct sunlight. So what about that weird bulge? Well, apparently that's called a crown guard which protects the crown if you were to bump it into a harsh surface. As you can tell, the crown is much larger now, so it is easier to use with gloves. Uh, and because of this bulge, it is also easier to press the side button again when you're wearing gloves. Now, when it comes to the actual bulkiness, the Apple Watch Ultra has doubled the weight of the 41mm Series 8 in its massive 49mm case. And in terms of the thickness, uh, it is 35% thicker than the Apple Watch Series 8. However, from the hands-on experience, it seems like it actually feels very light, and so do the bands. And the Apple Watch Ultra also has military-grade certification. Now, interesting enough, in 2016, Casio released their very first Android smartwatch. 
which have the exact same certification as the Apple Watch Ultra. And they do look quite similar in the way that they're both massive and both very durable. The Apple Watch Ultra can also withstand the temperature between minus 20 to 55 degrees Celsius and uh, the casing is made out of aerospace grade titanium. So this is gonna be super durable combined with that sapphire crystal display. There's also a new Bluetooth standard, Bluetooth 5.3 compared to 5.0 on the Series 8. And this is actually the same as on the iPhone 14s now. Oh, and we do have an image of the box now and it looks really, really cool. So unique compared to the regular Apple Watches. And the charger is apparently braided compared to the normal cable on the Series 8. When it comes to the band compatibility, so you can only configure the Apple Watch Ultra with those new adventure bands. However, Apple says that the adventure bands also work on the 44 and the 45 millimeter Apple Watches. However, they specifically say that those bands were designed for the Apple Watch Ultra. So it is very likely that they will be sticking out a bit. Also, regular bands would work on the Apple Watch Ultra. The Apple Watch Ultra, just like the Series 8, supports international roaming, which is great. Very useful to have. Another advantage of international roaming is that now, if you go on a holiday and you want to go for a run, for example, you can simply do that without necessarily having to take your iPhone with you. And on top of that, if your Apple Watch gets stolen, uh, you'll be able to track it anywhere you are, as opposed to it, you know, being completely invisible on the map like it would be now. And it is also less expensive than previously believed. So Mark Gurman was saying a price of between $900 to $1,000, but apparently it is $800, so actually cheaper than the lowest leaked price. However, in the UK, it actually costs more, £850. And fun fact, this is actually the exact same price as the stainless steel Apple Watch Series 8 in 45 millimeters. However, you need to keep in mind that the Apple Watch Ultra is big, bulky, and fat. So it is likely that it won't actually fit underneath a uh, shirt sleeve. So uh, you will likely need a more normal watch for formal events or anything that is not necessarily outdoor hiking or any outdoor activities. And the fact that it only comes in one color and just in one size makes it significantly less customizable uh, than when compared to the Series 8. Oh, and by the way, the Apple Watch Ultra does have one very strong competitor, which is the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. They do share a lot of similarities. They're both large, very durable, and they both have a great battery life. The Apple Watch Ultra is more targeted towards extreme sports with you know, all the diving capabilities, the brightness and the siren. However, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is better targeted towards regular people, has a more normal design, whilst keeping the impressive battery life and that large display. So overall, I think the Apple Watch Ultra um, is great for a certain group of people, a very small niche of extreme sport athletes and adventures. But if I were an extreme sports athlete myself, I would personally go with a Garmin option, as you simply have the peace of mind of it lasting for a month, and then on top of that, you also have solar charging on some models. Um, and still most of the features that the Apple Watch Ultra has. But definitely leave a comment down below if you want us to compare the Apple Watch Ultra against a Garmin option in one of the future videos. And until then, definitely check out our iPhone video and keep an eye uh, on a video covering the AirPods Pro 2 as well. I'm Daniel, this means enough tech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenom Tech, signing out. Cheers. Yeah.